Oh, next one. Coming up, Race Combat 7 live demo. Sweet. Woo! Uh, I don't want to be in an Ace Combat game because Strange Real has way too many conflicts, Communist Rooster. I don't... It's a bit that's dangerous. a bad world to live in. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous. It's, it's very exciting. You never know if you're going to survive any day. So. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to the GameSpot's demo stage <gasps> it's... here at E3 2017. Is that him? It's Kono! Oh! It's Kono! It's time! Alright, hold on, hold on. Welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Uh, what are you showing at this year's E3? Uh, so for the first time we're showing the non-VR content of Ace Combat 7. Uh, I believe we have a live gameplay demo as well that we can cut to, and uh, it would be great if you could talk us through it. So one of the biggest points I want to direct uh, your attention to is sort of the expression and way we've done the skies. So all of the clouds that you see here on the screen are calculated uh, with This physics. is something he's been pushing a lot, so... Mm. So we've tried to push the boundaries and when you go through the cloud you can actually feel like that sort of um, like the wetness, the dampness and sort of that uh, turbulence too. What prompted the return to the Strange Real universe? Strange Real universe. えっと、やっぱりナンバリングタイトルっていうことでユーザーが一番望んでいるっていうものを実現しようとしてストレンジリアルをもう一度戻りました。because it is a numbered title in the Ace Combat franchise and legacy, we wanted to go back to sort of the roots and what the fans really considered the true line of Ace Combat. What does it allow you to do to return to Strange Real that you couldn't do before then? Strange I think it really allows us to explore some non-real or semi-sci-fi type weapons and enemies, which is not something we can do in sort of the space of reality, and really kind of expand on the story of Strange Real. Sure. I'm interested, Ace Combat 7 has been, I mean, Ace Combat as a series has been going on for so, so long now, and it's such a much-loved franchise. How do you balance trying to appeal to long-time fans of the franchise, like you were saying, Returning to Strange Real that, that's going to attract to them, but also how do you attract new players at the same time? So it's kind of a two-pronged attack, and that's a very good point that you bring up. For a lot of the uh, existing Ace Combat fans, you want them to see this and feel like, wow, this is it. This is the Ace Combat we've been waiting for. But it's also, it feels very revolutionary in the sense that we made the sort of overall appeal very approachable. So even if you're seeing this for the first time, it's not like you need to have experience with all the past Ace Combats to be able to dive right in. And I really believe that just the visuals and the skies and people who just want to try soaring through them, that appeal alone will be enough to get a lot of new people. The game was originally a PlayStation 4 exclusive, but is now, I believe, on all platforms. Can you explain why it's coming to such a wider audience? そうですね。やっぱりできるだけ多くのお客様に楽しんでいただきたいというところでプレイステーション4とXbox1とSteamに挑戦しています。ただ、プレイステーション VR は Of course, we wanted to share this with as many people as possible, but I do want to remind you that the VR experience is exclusively on the PlayStation platform. What's it been like designing for a VR? Because it is such a you know, difference in hardware, difference in how you have to design for the design. design. Non-VR,本当に映画的な手法だったりカメラが使います。ただVR に関しては、もう最初から最後まで一人称で 
パイロットでいるということが目的になるので、アプローチが全然違います。Uh, it's a completely different approach, and in the sort of non VR, which we're calling, you get a bigger focus on the campaign and the story, so there's a lot、uh, more cinematography. So you're looking at it through a third person perspective, you can move the camera around, whereas in the VR aspect, from start to finish, you're always going to be in the first person perspective. How has it been developing for VR? I, I, I assume that's the first time that your studio has done it, or? VR 開発初めてっていう理解、その経験について少し。チームに関して本当初めてで、ただまあ最初にその 3D 用意の部分だったりとかっていうのはかなり苦労していますね。So、uh, as a team, you are correct. This is the first time we were developing on the VR platform, and we had to take a lot of Caution in approaching it and making sure people weren't getting any motion sickness and that kind of thing. But I'm an arcade game like Dome and Sentry Game, and I've been doing it for a long time. And I've been doing it for a long time. And I've been doing it for a long time. And I've been doing it for a long time. And I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> yes, like the stars. And、uh, in doing so, a lot of that experience is kind of, you could see here, and it applies in the motion sickness aspect. Uh, I, I gather you've been with the series for a long time now as franchise director. It must, by this point, feel just like a, a baby of yours, right? Like, how does it feel going into the, the new game having been with the series for such a long time? I was going to be a baby of yours, right? Like, how does it feel going into the new game having been with the series for such a long time? I was going to be a baby of yours, right? Like, how does it feel going into the new game having been with the series for such a long time? I was going to be a baby of yours, right? レガシーだったりとかルーツは大事にしながら何人に挑戦できるかっていうことを考えています。今回の場合は VR です。And I think it's、uh, really a balancing act, and I feel a lot of responsibility、uh, coming back to the main line of numbered titles in the Ace Combat franchise.、Uh, that being said, I don't believe in just recycling the same game and kind of putting a new number on it. In fact, I think it, if you do that, the series is going to die. So, what I really want to do with this one is kind of challenge a new status quo, and for Ace Combat 7, that was the VR aspect. Not only do you have the VR, but Nowadays, modern consoles are so incredibly powerful. We've got the PS4 Pro, the Xbox One X. What differences do they allow for the game? So, in the case of the PS4 Pro, the Xbox One X is a game that 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 is Uh, you know, obviously, the evolution hardware is a huge, huge factor, but in, as one in the position of creator, we always feel that boundary. And no matter what we try to do, we're like, oh, cool, we have more potential to work with, but we're always going to hit a certain wall. I think that sort of is a, a fun part of the development process. What to you is the heart of Ace Combat? Ace Combat is the heart of Ace Combat. どれだけこの美しい空を自由に思い切り飛べるかっていうところだと思ってます。Uh, I really believe it's just the sort of vastness of being able to fly freely throughout the sky and how well you can do it。空を飛びたいっていうのは人間の本能的な欲求だと思ってます。And I truly believe that flying is one of the sort of very innate desires that everyone kind of has somewhere deep down <laughs>。The, like you said, the first time that Ace Combat has gone into VR. Can you ever envisage a VR only Ace Combat game?、うん uh, VR has been a chance to see the game, but、まあ、VR only the game has also been a chance to see the game. Ace Combat franchise is a very important part of the franchise. But, as a result, the franchise is a very important part of the franchise. But, as a result, The Ace Combat franchise, I think it's entirely possible.、Uh, having said that, I think the、uh, adoption rate for the VR platform is still very young and infantile in its state. And what I've sensed from looking at all the communities and fans is that this is the sort of format of Ace Combat people still want at the core. How has the fan reaction been?、Uh, do you find that compared to, say, 10, 15, 20 years ago, you have a deeper relationship with them? すごいファンとのこうやり取りってどういう感じですかその20年前と比べて結構もう少し親身がある、ね、今になると本当 SNS で僕のところに直接いろんな質問、まあ、返しきれないんですけれどもいろんな反応が返ってきているので絶えずそれはチェックしていますね。Yeah, I think the sort of distance between developers and fans have 
has been closed uh, significantly, especially with the uh, adoption of social media services. And a lot of times I'll get tweets or uh, messages directly to me from the fans with some feedback. And of course I can't address every single one of them, but it is a large part of the development process. And because it's coming from all over the world, there are some whose names I can't even read or pronounce, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what language it's in. <laughs> well, uh, it sounds like it's going to be uh, a really great entry in the franchise, but it sounds like, to me at least, that you're putting the fans first going back to Strange Real. Is that the priority for you going forward to, to always put the fans first? I think that this Strange Real has been a big milestone for the franchise. I feel like fans are very strong in the interview that you have to do with the fans. Do you think that the fans are the most important? そうですね、やっぱり開発だったりパブリッシャーだったりいろんな問題が起きたときに最後の回答はファンの目線だと思っています。ファンの目線が最終回答でそこに沿うということが一番正しいというふうに考えています。Uh, it is my belief in development. There are many elements at play. You have the developers, the publishers, the pipeline distribution. But at the end of the day, the people who are going to give you the final answer and evaluation are the fans and the community and the consumer. Uh, do you see Ace Combat 7 as being the start of a new future, or do you, what do you hope the legacy of the game will be? This is kind of like a starting point for us, and what will come next, thinking about that is always our job. And I can't tell you what that is yet. <laughs> Well, Kono-san, thank you so much for joining us. Mike, thank you as well. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, make sure you don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some Project Cars 2. All right, that's it. That is it! That was so much better than Great Holy crap. Woohoo, Thank you, Kono. Thank you, Kono. Thank you, Kono. Thank you, Kono. Arigato gozaimasu, Kono-senpai. And thank Man. you, GameSpot, for having Kona. Yes, GameSpot has made a difference. GameSpot is our hero today. Yes, thank you, GameSpot. Even better than Sony. GameSpot was the one who uploaded the trailer first. They are actually showing interest in the game. I'm actually... I've been posting on the chat some of the things that Kona's been saying. Yeah. I'm just going to summarize them really quick. Just yeah. let me get, I just let me get them all copied I just didn't down. want to talk to not Butter or Senpai. No, no, of yeah. course. I wonder if he was referring to us because we just tweeted him before. I, I don't. I don't think he was referring to us. <laughs> yeah, People have tweeted general, him for years. We just yeah. bothered him before the. 